أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة على رسول الله الكريم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I welcome the viewers the audience all those watching me now from our Himalayan campus of the International Quranic University in Zawiya of Abdul Qadir Gilani Scientific Research Institute in the Himalayan mountain of Pakistan in the month of June 2009. I am about to give a discourse as a lecture, not in particular, uh, not particularly translation. Translation, you can, there is a book, so many translation lying there. You can pick up the book, uh, read the translation. That might not make much sense to you or to any reader. Because most of translations in their scenes don't agree with each other, number one. Number two, Holy Quran cannot be translated in any language. It is not possible. And that's why the Muslims, be they American, English, Pakistani, Indian, or Russian, have been made, it has made obligatory for them to learn the language of Holy Quran, that's Arabic. That is Arabic. Without knowing Arabic, it is very difficult to follow the Quran. By reading translation, you will understand quite a deal of the Quran, but not all of it. But to follow it, you cannot until you read, know it. Not only with meaning, but with the commentary, tafsir, which tell you the historical perspective, the background of each and every line. And also tell you all other things which translation does not give. Translation, though not possible, yet it is an apology. I had trans I have uh, given discourses on many surahs of the Holy Quran. It took me about nine to ten DVDs just to complete Surah Al Baqarah. When I came to Surah Al Maida, I thought for months and months, should I give a discourse or not? Because it is was not possible for me just to read a translation and say, I'll give a discourse. Here's the translation with me. Here it is, which I've done myself. But that won't be sufficient until you know the historical background of each and every line, what you call ayah, incident in Surah Maida. Surah Maida Maida means very low table which uh, people use for uh, eating food. They sit on the car floor on this wooden settees and place before them you know, low table called Maida. The Muslims amongst they have Maida cloth. They spread it and eat, lay their plates and drinking things on that. Surah Al-Maida is one of the greatest chapters because surahs of the Holy Quran. It came down, it was sent down, Nuzul. Its Nuzul took place in Medina to Munawara. It has six, it have 16 sections called Ruku, 120 ayat mean lines 
Now we don't call ayat verses because it is not a poetry. And 12,464 letters. Surat al maida has one line, one ayah, which is one of the greatest ayah. There is al yawma akmaltu lakum deenakum. Today we have completed your deen. This is this only was sent down on in Makkah al Mukarma on the day of Hajjat al Vida, the last Hajj in Arafah. And the Surah Salam recited this in his khutbah. It was Jumat al Vida, Hajjat al Vida, and this he recited. It is a great, you know, event that Allah completed the moral, social, cultural evolution, which is called Al Islam. That day, you know, on the last day, that is a, which he started with Adam al Islam. Adam al Islam, the Islam, it is religion of mankind and religion of the first man, Adam al Islam. From that we find not much religion. Islam was, you know, um, sent down, but gradually, gradually it was developed. The Islamic code, Islamic way was developed, evolved from Adam al Islam to his son Shish al Islam, then to Anok, you know, then to Idris al Islam, then all those messengers which were sent to, you know, Ad and Smooth. Hmm? And uh, you know, Salih alayhi salam, then to Nuh alayhi salam, from Nuh to Ibrahim alayhi salam, Ibrahim to Yaqub, you know, and Yusuf, and twelve of those things, and then Ismail alayhi salam, all these from the, we come to, you know, Daud and Suleiman, and uh, Zakaria, and uh, Jesus and Mary, all receive one and the same message and all received divine revelation which ultimately culminated and fully completed in Qur'an. Qur'an has Torah, complete Torah in Surah Al-Baqarah. Qur'an has Injil, Gospel in Surah Al-Imran and Surah Maryam. Qur'an has Psalms, of Dawud al-Islam, uh, Zubur of Dawud al-Islam, and Psalm in Surah Rahman and other. Meaning thereby, the Surah Mada is one of the greatest, and the, that is the last Surah which has law. Many Surahs have law, but they were chained. This, after that, no Surah came which contained law.